Next to strapping yourself into a rocket, it's the next best thing to uh, high five your buddy, just clip his seat belt, close the door, and then watch them blast off. So I grew up in a, in a uh, town in southern Maine, small town called York, Maine, went to high school there, and then from there went on to the Naval Academy with a brief one year stop at the Naval Academy Prep School in Newport, Rhode Island. Turns out that was the greatest thing that ever happened to me because I matured tremendously, took the same courses that I took my freshman year at the Naval Academy and really uh, it set me up for success going into the Naval Academy. You know, I really had a good time at the Naval Academy. It's a, the first year is a drag, rigorous academics, but piled on top of that, you have to know all this military knowledge. You have to run around and call, every, uh, call everybody sir. And, but there's so many funny stories that come out of it, and my best friends that I have in life today are from from that year. I'd been in the SEAL teams for about four years. Around the same time, I met Bill Shepard who was uh, uh, an astronaut here, Navy SEAL, become an astronaut, was the commander of the first space station crew. And in talking to him, I realized, hey, my background is kind of similar to his. Um, maybe I could try to become an astronaut also. And, and realized that he went to MIT in the ocean engineering department. And uh, maybe I could pursue something similar. Well. I was driving underwater vehicles in the SEAL teams and just so happened one of the professors in the ocean engineering department at MIT, his name is John Leonard, was studying underwater vehicle navigation and that's what I was. I was a navigator of an underwater vehicle in the SEAL team. So it, it seemed to me like to make perfect sense and the stars were aligning. I came in the class of 2004. Those first couple of years are an astronaut candidate, not really eligible to be assigned to anything, but just learning the ropes of how to be an astronaut. Came out of that program 2006, spent a couple years doing uh, various jobs. I supported uh, Expedition 15, I think it was, and worked as Capcom for a while before I was assigned to be part of the crew of STS-127. We launched in the summer of 2009, so back up about a year and a half from that is when we began training here, all here in Houston. Our main role was to bring up exposed facility that's outside of, on the Japanese portion of the space station along with some batteries uh, for the port 6 solar array and then about 2010 or 11 I started training for Expedition 35-36 and uh, long, lo much longer training process, two and a half years mostly because you're half your time's in Russia or some other country, Japan or, or Germany and uh, Russian language is a huge part of, of that training, so we spent a lot of time in the classroom one-on-one -on -one with, with the instructor, and then ultimately launched from Baikonur. Spent six months up there, it was fantastic.